Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maya. So, today I am going to be showing you guys the three, the tour of three of my sketchbooks from when I was 13 years old. Well, 13 isn't very old, so 13 years young. And at the moment, I'm 14, for those who are wondering. And these are my three sketchbooks that I managed to fill up when I was 13. Let's get this video started! So this one is the newest one from them. Um, at the end pages is even a few drawings I did when I was 14, which is already like right now basically. And then this one is the middle one and this one is the oldest one from 2020 and then this one is also from 2020 and then this one is from this year I think but most of them are from when I'm 13, basically. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know. Anyways, let's get started. Oh, also, on this one, the oldest one, I actually drew the cover. Like, it used to be just a boring blue one, like this one. But then I just customized it, and it looks, like, a ton better now. But now I don't really do that. I feel like I'm too lazy, but... So, here we have three sketchbooks. And we're going to start out with the oldest one, which is this one, as I mentioned before. So, as you can see, this is the cover, and it says my name at the bottom. So, when we flip, it says Maya over here. I covered it up with a Posca pen and then wrote that. And then, this is the first page. So, I may, I usually try to make the first pages, like, you know, kind of special, like the opening page. And it says sketchbook, and then it says Maya P for Pyrrhus. And... As you can see, this is a little self-portrait of myself, and I just think it's super cute. Also, it says when I started the sketchbook, which was April 5th, but I forgot to write a finishing date for the sketchbook, even though it is finished. Next page, we have an avocado girl. Oh, also guys, you can check the dates over here at the bottom sometimes. Next, we have this unfinished sketch, which I hate. Next, we have over here a princess, Princess Luna. For some reason, I kind of imagined her as myself when I drew her. And then we have a sunshine girl, a rainbow girl, and um, if you guys play the game Roblox, then you might know there's a game in it called Fashion Famous. And this girl I made inspired by some of the outfits um, and accessories from that game. A girl lying in a meadow. I think it's so cute. And then we have an unfinished drawing. You'll see a lot of these kind of unfinished drawings throughout all of my sketchbooks. Anyways. Um, so I was thinking about customizing a phone case for myself, so these are some ideas that I thought, like, a long time ago, but, uh, yeah. And then some doodles, and this little designer girl page. <laughs> this is when I was still in my visco girl phase, if anybody remembers that. And then we have this realistic drawing, and, ooh, I really like this one. It's... Um, I think I followed a tutorial for this, for the here or something, but anyways. And then we have this. And then I was practicing faces. And then we have little baby Rapunzel and, um, I forgot what his name is, but it's like a gecko, like a lizard or something. Unfinished. And then over here, if any of you watched The Vampire Diaries, this is Catherine Pierce, aka her original name, Katrina Petrova, or Katerina Petrova. Next page, we have these little cute, adorable baby pandas. Next, um, if you know me, you know that I loved the book, The School for Good and Evil series, as I mentioned in lots of my book accommodation videos and this one a lot of my series anyway so this is when the final book was being released and i made a countdown page and each day that it was closer to the release dates i colored a crown until the final one an empty page unfinished a little profile picture drawing and over here we have a sketch 
and oh i love this so much it's unfinished it's just like a sketch even though i i remember for the longest time i wanted to finish it but just couldn't get it done and then this is from the school for good and evil tagatha which is their ship name next we have this i don't know what was in here i forgot and then i drew a prince and um we're not gonna talk about that Next, we have this little, little like landscape of a barn or a shed, as it says over here. Then there's an arrow pointing to the orchard, which is like the apple orchard and wheat fields. It's like a little farm place. Then I was practicing some watercolors. And I drew my sister. Um, you might know her from my other videos. Her name is Adela, and she loves pandas. And I drew her basically like ready for a slumber party or just to sleep and then i drew this which is of my old roblox avatar and then we have this unfinished thing which is like a couple like i don't know how they call it polaroids yes empty and then we have this little skater girl i remember i while i was trying to fall asleep this just came into my mind i'm like i have to draw this she's wearing rain boots i think they're so cute look at them anyway she's splashing she has a skateboard on her back and a little bucket hat on her head and over here we have this which says venice and a little coconuts thing unfinished and then we have this girl and she's at the gym it says gym time and then we have me as a witch with my little kitty. I don't actually have a cat in real life, but I really, really, I'm basically when I have my own place, like my own house or apartment or something, I am going to get a cat. Then we have some realistic fruits. And over here we have this little adorable ducky on a skateboard. And then over here, I covered it with a sticker because it's kind of freaking me out. Um, it says Bloody Mary, so this is your warning, guys, if you don't want to see this. <laughs> Let's close that up. Over here, I drew me and my sister and my brother. I have another sister, but I didn't draw her in this. Um, as Powerpuff characters. And then I drew my brother and his friend. And over here, I drew myself as an Animal Crossing character. And then over here, we have a Red Riding Hood. And over here, we have me as a rock star. And an empty page, and that is the end of this sketchbook. What is this? Odd. Um. Anyways, that's the end of that sketchbook. Now, let's move on to the next one, shall we? The next one is this one. So let's put this out of the way. And when we open this, we have this beautiful opening page. It's not done. Um, but, and I forgot to write the dates when I finished and started the sketchbook. But anyways, it says my over here and here is me ziplining. I drew this not long after I went ziplining with my mom and my sister. It was so much fun. And it, we went on like the fastest zipline in the USA. Over here, we have uh, this cutout thing, and then we have Soka from, how's it called, um, The Last Airbender? Anyways, I was making a bookmark, but I didn't finish it, but from this other cutout thing was Katara, which is his sister. And I cut it out because I had finished it, and then I use it for books sometimes. So, moving on, we have this Among Us. So, I drew this when Among Us was at, like becoming really really popular and i downloaded it it was so much fun like ugh, those old days so nice anyways this is my among us character my sisters my brothers my sisters and my brother's friends and another friend and then over here we just have some sketches or doodles over here unfinished all this is is a head which is unfinished <laughs> And then over here we have my sister on a log, or uh, how's this called? I forgot, but anyway, it's like half of the chopped tree. It's not half, it's just a tree stump, yes. Here we have more doodles and more. And over here we have me in an outfit that I have in real life, basically. I was wearing the same exact outfit when I drew this. And then this is me as a Harry Potter, well, Hogwarts student. I am in House of Ravenclaw. 
Over here we have a realistic drawing, which I love. Um, unfinished. Then over here we have Among Us themed again, and this is me, except like realistic Among Us theme. And then there is my little baby crewmate, and he's like, Mama, because I was ejected. Next we have these amazing, beautiful portraits, so realistic, of my siblings. First we have my smelly sister, my other smelly sister, and my smelly brother. And then me, of course, the best. Next we have, uh, so I'm super duper bored, and then I was just doing like A is for Among Us, B is for Butterfly, and so on. Next we have this kind of-ish realistic thing. I like copied a picture from um, Pinterest, and then guess what? more among us and then we have more realism which is like a droplet some more droplets leaves these aren't that realistic this is like the best one so far yeah oh yes guys this one i love it so much it's like realistic cherries with droplets on them oh my goodness i forgot that i did this this is so long ago but oh my gosh i love this so much next we have oh wow how surprising a blank page some realistic blueberries and we have a girl roasting marshmallows at a campfire and look at those graham crackers marshmallows the owl and the little fox then here we have me and my sister as hogwarts students i as i said before am a ravenclaw and my sister is a gryffindor and then we have this girl and she's like lost in a book and she's wearing a Harry Potter shirt. I was like in my Harry Potter phase during the sketchbook. Like I was obsessed with everything Harry Potter. And then over here we have a person dressed as a ghost going trick or treating on Halloween. And then we have this girl. And uh, um, I also love to play Minecraft for you guys. Some of you would know that. Anyways, I drew Minecraft Steve and Minecraft Alex as realistic. People, and they have parents on their shoulder and then I drew a Minecraft youtuber that I like to watch which is Gemini Tay and I drew her as a witch then we have more doodles and I drew myself as a monster or something and then I love the Shira movies and I drew Ketra in like season from season 5 when she cut her hair and then we have this little creepy scene I think this is so cool actually, it's like all black and we have this plant basically. It really reminds me of a Demogorgon from Stranger Things, but anyways, just take a moment to appreciate all of this, it looks so cool. Next we have this little fairy village. As you can see there's little fairies everywhere, so cute. Next we have this kind of realistic beer. And then we have this rose, realistic watercolor. And then we have this, which is like a picnic girl or something, cottage core. And then we have this, which I, let me say, I love this page so much. Cause like, I just drew everything so nicely. Then we have Ron Weasley. I'm sorry, Ron. Okay, anyways. Here, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, and of course, Luna Lovegood, which is my favorite Harry Potter character. And then we have this girl, I just drew a random person as a character from an anime show. And then I drew this girl, and then I drew this, basically, I don't know what, how, what to say about this. It's not the best, obviously, but, and then this and then this and unfinished and that is the end of this sketchbook now let's proceed to the last one. Oh wait also from this sketchbook i drew her as you can see but i ripped out the page to put on my uh, pin board and also i drew her from one of my sketchbooks as well i forgot which one though anyways last one so we open the page and there is no opening page because I was too lazy to do one. And guess what? There's no second page either. <gasps> Maya, is this a whole entire empty sketchbook? No. Oh, this is like a goblin or something. But 
the skull it makes her look like mega mind let's proceed this is not my best artwork definitely not and this i hate this so much please don't look at this oh yes i love this one it's so pretty next we have luna lovegood next we have me and my sister and mother and over here we have an unfinished thing and over here we have a fairy i love this very much next we have this boy i saw at target and i thought his outfit was so cute and then i wanted to draw him and then over here we have something unfinished i was debating who should i draw like ron harry and hermione or i don't know i was really um indecisive next we have this froggy girl and next we have a friend she lives in china i've never actually met her in real life but her name is liz and i drew a drawing of her next we have a drawing of me wait let me do this so next we have a drawing of me this is like normal me then good side me and then evil side me next unfinished next this is quackity and he's like a hey, yo man and next we have nikki Nietzsche. she's a minecraft youtuber too and then this is when i turned 14 so the rest of the sketchbook is from what, when I turned 14. So over here it says, Maya's like so cool. Oh, whoa. yes, I agree with that. Anyways, I drew this on the day that I was 14 and I was on vacation during that day and then I just drew this. It's like a little me, little, little demon me. And then I have a picture of me, unfinished. And we have these beautiful realistic eyes. And over here we have a little maid boy. And over here we have a little girl. And over here I was drawing out outside. And then I didn't know what to draw. So I was just like looking at random stuff and drawing it. Like I saw a mailbox, so I drew it. I saw a ball on the floor and I drew it. And a, somebody had like a flamingo decoration in their front yard. So I drew that too. And a bike and basically some other stuff. And then over here we have George and Dream, which are like some of my favorite Minecraft YouTubers. And then we have George again. And then we have this girl. She's like a princess or something. I don't know. There is a crown on her head. And it's raining outside. And then we have this tech girl. Which I hate this. And then this is way better. Also kind of like a tech girl. But guess what? It's me. Of course. I love drawing myself. And I drew myself. There's like a storm brewing. And I'm standing there. A hero. Next we have this girl and she's reading and carrying some flowers. And we have this fairy with extremely long hair. And over here we have a girl at a night's club. Next we have this. And this girl. And this tangerine girl. She has orange juice and there's like oranges all around her basically. And then we have a mermaid. I drew from mermaid. And then I really, really like how I do this. Next, we have one of my OCs. I have very little OCs, only like two or three, and I never draw them, but um, I mostly create them and then just get rid of them later. But anyways, this is Viola, and this is the only time I ever drew her, my first time basically drawing her. Next, we have my sister and my brother as ninjas, cause they love watching Lego Ninjago. Then we have an unfinished, and we have this little girl unfinished as well and then we have this i forgot what they're called teletubby yes anyways sitting on a lily pad and then we have this girl with a beret and we have this little goth girl and then oh yes i do very much like this it's just a girl like s sitting on a rooftop chilling and then i was like really into like like looking at pictures of humans and then drawing them so i um just saw like this this is a real life person like i saw a picture of her and then i just drew her this is a real life person that i drew and then here are some little sketches and this little sketch as well and then over here i drew emma norman and ray from the Pumps neverland this is more like recent like this summer i drew this and here we have a girl on a chair another girl and here we have a cute little cheerleader girl. She has her cheerleader outfit underneath and little, little like, I don't know what this is called, but it's like a jacket or something. 
So then we have Strawberry Shortcake as a modern girl. As you can see, this is her like modern outfit. And then this is the last page. It's a girl, a cat, and I love cats, so this is the last page. And that close. And that was the last sketchbook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you guys what's in these three sketchbooks from when I was like 13 slash 14 years old. Don't forget to subscribe as only a tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and again, subscribe maybe if you want. But anyways, hope you enjoyed my sketchbook tour and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!